Greetings, this is a follow-up to my video I made yesterday on nice guys and why women do not particularly respect and uh, admire them. Now, I missed uh, quite a few points actually, so I just thought to make this video to um, present these points to you all. Uh, but this uh, title of the video, as you see, is why men do not like nice guys. And now, what I mean by a nice guy, it's, it is nothing to do with being kind-hearted and polite and gentlemanly. Obviously we all are this, but uh, being a nice guy is someone who does a lot of favors to a woman because he thinks that that will get him laid. So it is not being nice at all, it's being manipulative, it's being creepy in a sense that he goes around with a checklist and say, oh now I've done all these favors to a woman so now she owes me sex. Uh, this is a very disgusting attitude to have. So if you see this sort of guys who does a lot of favors for no obvious reason. Now obviously the reason is quite uh, clear as day. It's because he wants to have sex with her. But for these guys they take the path of infamy to that so they don't improve themselves to present themselves as a good genetic match to um, to mate with but they do uh, this sort of uh, manipulative things instead. And what bothers obviously a lot of men, especially if you talk about male feminists for example, as we saw during the Me Too movement earlier this year, yeah, which kind of group was the most horrible in that regard? Yeah, male feminists. And for a man, when you look upon a male feminist, and also as a quick point here, if you do care about the safety and happiness of women, you're a nationalist. That is just how it is at this particular moment in time. Uh, if you want to keep your women safe, then take care of them and uh, you're definitely pro-closed borders. But anyway, these feminist men, they go to female-dominated political endeavors and why do they do that? Yeah, for a man it might be quite easy to see that they are there for one simple reason and that is to be surrounded by women that they can try to woo. Uh, but they do so in disguise of being politically active. Uh, so this sort of dishonest and, and deceptive behavior, it's something that any, that any man will very much be against. That's not something that is that is glorious in the list. So that is also one of these points I would like to take up why, why men do not respect these sort of nice guys who try to play these manipulative games against women. And obviously, it again, if you have a sister or something, do you would you want such a man to um, try to court your sister, trying to make her favors for no apparent reason, but then you also know what the reason is, instead of someone who just is a good man. Um, so uh, yeah, that's my additional uh, thing I wanted to add to the um, last video that men who are nice they are nice for uh, a reason uh, but uh, it is very hard to respect these sort of guys because they are dishonest in that way and also regarding male feminists as we've seen during the Me Too very many men uh, who got accused of these sort of things yeah they were self-proclaimed feminists etc and also, I don't just want to bash men in this video, I also want to bash hypocrite women. So Emma Watson, for example, great champion for the for the safety and security of women uh, here with the absolute creep, Harvey Weinstein. Absolutely disgusting everything about this picture. So, that's all I have to say about that. Be wary of deceptive and weak men. They are not good for your female relatives. XXO, boom.